Governor Jones and Assemblymember Dababne for bringing AB 2056 forward. Californians love their pets, and with millions of households sharing and caring for their furry family members, they rely on the very best medical care for them, and many depend upon insurance policies to take care and make it more affordable. You know, we're here today in Encino Pet Park, uh, and it's actually in the heart of my district here in the 45th Assembly District, and we were here today to do a press conference with Insurance Commissioner Dave Jones for AB 2056, uh, which is a bill to help uh, consumers uh, get more protection and have a better streamlined process for the pet insurance industry. Now, at the Department of Insurance, we field all sorts of consumer calls and complaints, and we're seeing a rise in complaints about pet insurance. And this tells me that there's some very serious consumer protection issues associated with this product line. And so that's why I'm very pleased to sponsor the legislation that the assembly member is ca carrying, uh, which will make sure that consumers and pet owners are better protected as they purchase this important product. Well, you know, when I first got sworn in, I was at a local farmer's market just down the street, and a number of pet owners just came to me and said, we heard you were on the insurance committee. Uh, we wish you would do something about pet insurance. It's very confusing. Uh, there's unfortunately a few unscrupulous players in the market that uh, don't disclose the pre-existing conditions, and a number of uh, the pet insurance policies that they were purchasing didn't actually cover what they thought uh, would be covered when unfortunately they had a pet emergency or a health issue with their pet. It's really time for us to act now to help consumers. Uh, AB 2056 uh, will help pet insurance companies to clearly disclose information and benefit limitations. It'll explain exclusions and the pre-existing conditions that should be up front so pet owners aren't surprised later after they've paid their deductibles. And it will outline clearly the stated reimbursement rates. Often we were told by consumers that they thought 60 or 75 or 80 percent would be covered on a certain procedure, but they'd later find out that those percentages were based on numbers that really didn't add up and really didn't cover the full cost of care. Additionally, I'd like to highlight that this legislation allows consumers a 30-day free look period. This gives consumers the freedom not to get locked into a contract that they may not fully understand or may not be able to uh, benefit from. Uh, pet insurance consumers would also be given uh, the ability to shop around now knowing that they will be able to see up front the costs and exclusions. This I think will also benefit the good players within the pet insurance industry. Well you know I'm very proud of this bill. AB 2056 was a bipartisan bill. It passed uh, the insurance committee in a bipartisan way. It was voted on the floor by both Republicans and Democrats overwhelmingly. It's also a bill that was uh, worked on with a number of stakeholders. The insurance community played a part to help craft this. Uh, we had a number of consumer groups that were very helpful, the Department of Insurance, the Insurance Commissioner. We all came together and worked together to make sure we have a bill that really protects consumers and gives peace of mind to people that buy pet insurance uh, that they're getting what they pay for. So if everyone that's interested in this can call my office, can email me, but uh, make sure they let their local state senator know and let the governor know that this is a good piece of legislation to protect consumers and most importantly protect our pets.